Income tax 2022-2023. Social security benefits tax software example. Let's do some wealth preservation with some tax preparation. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here we are in our example form 1040 populated with Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but it's a great tool to run examples and scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 and related schedules and forms on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point, as usual, single filer, Mr. Anderson, no dependents, 100,000 in the W-2 income. And then we've got the 12,950 standard deduction getting us to the 87,050. Mirroring that on our equation over on in Excel, where we've got the 100,000, the 12,950 taxable income, 87,050, depending on the software to do the calculation on page two, that being 14,774. So we've got the 14,774 and then 15,000 withheld to get us to the 226. That's our general starting point we've been starting with. Now, when we're talking about payments that are coming out of the social security, normally that's gonna be people that are in their retirement years. So I'm gonna change the age here to put them into a time frame where it's likely they're gonna be getting social security benefits. Note that would be the normal expectation if they're in their working years, you would expect most of their income to be coming from say W-2 income, if beyond the working years, you would expect distributions possibly from IRAs, pension plans, interest, dividends, uh, in income type of sources, and then possibly, of course, the social security, our point of focus now. So now I've changed the income, the age. So, so now it's switched us over to a 1040 SR instead of a 1040. I'm still gonna go back to the 1040 because I think that's just an easier format or a more standard format if you've been working on the 1040s for a while to get an idea of what's going on. So it's a single filer. We've got the, we're born before uh, January 2nd, 1958. We've got the 100,000 that I left in the W-2 income. Although if they were retired, it's likely that they wouldn't have the 100,000 from here. It would be uh, in, in IRAs or pensions and whatnot. But the basic idea is that if we have the income that's over a certain threshold, then we're gonna have some taxable portion of the social security benefits. So if you're dealing with people that have significant amounts of income and they ask you what's gonna happen to my social security benefit income, well, you're probably gonna have to include it 85% of it in income. So we have $100,000 here, social security benefits of 2000. The calculation is 0.85 and that's giving us the 1,700. That's gonna be the taxable portion. That's gonna be the general concept. If the income is fairly below a fairly low threshold, then you might be taxed at something or have include in taxable income something less than 85%. Now remember that 85% isn't the tax you're paying on it. That's the amount that has to be included in taxable income in order to then get to the, to calculate the tax on the taxable income. And then we changed our standard deduction because we're over the threshold 65. So let's go back on over here and say, all right, let's say that uh, we've got the income now and now we've got social security social security card income so that's like on page one so let's say that i'm going to add another line pension let's just add a few more lines here i'm going to insert some lines and then i'm just going to call this what what should i call it social security benefits social security se security benefits something like that that's close the spell check should be able to figure that out and then i'm going to leave a couple spaces usually like two lines because you got husband wife is usually maybe we'll add an extra just in case there's some some weird s scenario or something always weird scenarios these days i'll tell you what 
So we're gonna say social security benefit payment was 2000. Now you can kind of do the calculation here uh, and say it's gonna be 85%. So you might, you might try to do like actually see uh, the calculation. So let's actually add a column. I'm gonna add a whole column to this and push column C to the right by putting my cur cursor on column C, right click and insert. And then I'm gonna add another kind of calculation here. So all this stuff doesn't need to be any special formatting down to here. So I'm gonna say un, un, I'm gonna get rid of the colors on those. But then down here, I'm gonna add another column and I'll put like, normally it's 0.85, uh, 85%, 0.85, or maybe I put the 85, let's put the 85 like down here, 0 0.85, 0 0.85. And I'm gonna make that a percent. And so then I'm gonna say, this is gonna be equal to this times 85%. And so this would normally be something that you wouldn't have to basically uh, change, but you might, because they might be a rate other than 85, and in that case, I'd probably be dependent on the software to, to do the calculation. And so then I'm going to say this is the total total social security benefits. Summing that up to the outside. Sum it up. Por favor. There we have it. Let's do the spell check. That can't be spelled right. If there's something, if the spell check doesn't say something wrong, there's something wrong with the spell check social security okay so then that should be included down here so i'm going to update that formula so now we're at the 101 700 pulling into page one boom this needs to be increased because they're no longer they're over the threshold to get an extra over the standard of the 1750 there's that bam that gets us to the 87,000. 87,000 over on the tax return is there page two doing the calculation is now at the 14763 so we'll say okay 141763 is there and 15,000 gets us down to the 237 so there's the general idea okay so again it's more likely that you're not going to see the w-2 income but the income coming from uh, basically these other sources let's bring the income down below a threshold so so that now it might be taxed at a lower rate so let's say the let's say the income was only like like uh 20 like 20 000 or something so let's go back on over and let's imagine that that the wages income i'm going to bring that down from here and let's say they just got some money from a pension plan or something like that so we're going to say pension income and I'm going to say this is 1099 R that they got, and it's going to be a normal distribution. And let's say that they got like like 20. Let's say let's say 15,000 here, taxable amount 15,000. And then on the Social Security, let's bump up the Social Security a bit. Social Security benefits. Let's say they got uh, uh, 10,000 Social Security. Okay. Let's make it 5,000, 5,000. Okay, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Okay, that's what I wanna do. So now I'm still looking at the form 1040, although the 1040 SR would be like the form typically used over the threshold of 65. So we've got single, we've got the uh, born before January, whatever. And then down here, now we've got our income coming from the pension and annuities and the social security benefits, none of it's being taxable, right? And you can look at the worksheet right here That's because they're below the threshold and you can get an idea of, of the income thresholds, but that's gonna be, and I won't get into the weeds on that, but you can get into the weeds on that to see the calculation on how the worksheet is being put together. So if I was to mirror that on this side, I'd have to say, okay, income, no W-2 income. They got an, a pension income that I said was 15, thousand i think and then they've got the social security of what did i say five thousand but now it's n it's none of it's taxable they're not taxed at the 85 percent. so i'm just going to rely on the software to say that zero of that is taxable 
and that's putting the zero down there. So that gives me the, the 15 up top. So the 15, 15 brings it down to the to the three th the 300. So the 300 and so on. So I won't go from there. Now, now let's let's increase this a little bit. Let's bring it up to like 25,000. Let's say this was at do, do, pension 25, 25,000. Let's say Mui B to the N. So now a portion of it is being taxed, right? 1,000 at 250. So now we're at 1250 divided by 5,000. It's pulling in 25%, right? Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up to, uh, let's pull this amount up to like 30,000. 30,000, 30,000, and see what that does. Going back on over now, half of it, right? So it's going to be 2500 divided by 5,000. Uh, what? K the heck paso divided by 5,000, 50%. And now let's bring it up to, I, I think it's like 34,000, 34,000. And so now it's still at 50%. Let's bring it to, to, uh, f to actually, I didn't do it here, 34,000, 34,000. So now it's, it's getting pretty close. Pretty close though. To the hundred, uh, to the full amount here, 85%. So now we're at, uh, 4250 divided by 5,000, 85%. So it's a pretty low threshold still, right? And then, and then if I brought this as high as I wanted to, it should stick at that 85% of the income, right? If I brought this up to 100,000, 100,000, we're still st sticking there. And so that's the general kind of curve that you want in your mind. So when you explain it to people, you're like, yeah, it's, you're probably gonna have to include an income like 85% unless your income is relatively low. So it's four, two, five, zero divided by, divided by 5,000. Now, if they were a married couple, but married couple and fine man turning tricks. Oh, good. Then of course you can, uh, you might have social security from two people, right? So then I could go back on over and say, now they're married filing joint. And then on the income side, let's say we had the social security benefits 5,000 from one spouse and 5,000 from another spouse, right? And so now that's gonna be pulling in to the, the uh, box of 10,000 and 85% uh, is being taxed at this point. If they were married, then you could bring the threshold. The thresholds will be a little bit different to determine how much will be taxable. So if I went back on over and I went to my pension uh, income and I bring this da down once again to 30,000, 30,000, and I go back on over and say, okay, now only 1,500 is being taxable. 1,500 divided by 10,000, 15%. The thresholds are a little bit different as you would expect for a married filing joint. If I bring it up to like 40,000, 40,000, then now we're at the 5850 divided by 10,000, which is 58%. And then if I bring it up to like, I think it's like 44,000, 44,000 and pull it on over pull it on over now we're at that that 85 percent eight five so it's still a fairly low threshold but obviously the threshold differs for married filing joint versus the single threshold so there's the general the general idea that you want to have in your mind uh with regards to the social security so remember that, that you also kind of you probably want to get a, a general concept of what the social security is doing you're pulling it in from the w-2 when you pay it it's social security or payroll taxes different than basically the income taxes. You're paying it in with your payroll taxes or with uh, your, your, your self-employment taxes. And the amount that you pay in is gonna be uh, causing the amount or in, contribute to the calculation of how much benefits you're gonna get in retirement. And then when you get the benefits in retirement, it possibly could be included in income and generally will be included in income up to like 85%, unless your income is taxable income, 
you know, is relatively low. That's kind of the scenario you might want to have. 